Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and it was about a year and a half ago that we did our first LED light review. And these are the LED bulbs that you replace your ceiling lights, your lamp lights with. We're going to follow up today to see how those lights are doing a year and a half later. Going to show you some newer LED light options, more powerful, brighter ones. And I wanted to tell you that the 40 and 60 watt incandescent bulbs, the old time favorites, the importation or manufacture of these stopped last January. So what you see on your store shelves now, that's all there's ever going to be. Epic review guys. Now I have been interested in and liked the LED bulbs for a long time. This is the first one I owned. I think it's from about 11 years ago. Cost $60 puts out, I don't know, maybe 20 watts of light, just a dim blue light. But this is where it started. They've certainly improved a lot to the lights you can buy today. In our living room, ceiling light fixture, which has to light up a very large room, we have two types, the bright white light and the warm, more yellowish glow. In the kids' bathroom, we also have one bright white and one natural softer light depends on how you want your face to look here's how i look under the bright white light if you want to see all the details and flaws this is the light to go for but if you wake up in the morning and you're not in the mood to see stark reality then go for this type of light it tends to give your face the benefit of the doubt here in the room where we record our videos in the light fixture we have one bright white and one soft yellow light and also some natural light coming in the window I would say we've switched over about half the fixtures in the house to LED lights. The rest still have the compact fluorescent, though we do still have a few incandescents. And the reason for this is the Easy Bake Oven doesn't cook too well with LED lights. When we bought the LED lights last year and switched them over to the fixtures in the house, 60 watts was about the highest that you could get the, the most light output. And in some situations, you do want more light than that. So I was happy when this company, Thorfire, they saw that we had done the LED light reviews and sent us one of their bulbs to try. And this one is 12 watts of power that it uses, but it produces as much light as a 75 watt bulb. We'll take a look at this and see. And we get to switch one more fixture over to LED, so we're happy about that. The 60 watt output Cree LED bulbs that we have throughout the house that I showed you the scenes of, these go for about $10. This new one, the Thorfire, that produces 110 watts of power is about $15. I'll put links to both of these down below this video. If you're looking for LED lights, they do even have them in the supermarket now, but if you want the the best selection because sometimes you want a particular brand, sometimes you need one that's going to fit and these are often a little longer. So if that's an issue, the place you can find the biggest selection of them is usually Lowe's or Home Depot. Here's what the Thor Fire light looks like. Rather futuristic. The reason for this whole middle section here is it's um, basically a heat sink to pull the heat off of the electronics and dissipate it. These lights don't um, create nearly as much heat as incandescent bulbs, but they do still create heat. And what keeps your light burning the 30 years or so that this can last is if you don't let it get too hot. So it's very important that they, they wick that heat away. These are aluminum fins here that uh, basically dissipate the heat from the center. They're very lightweight, so this bulb, for having so much metal in it, really doesn't feel that heavy. Here I have the new Thorfire bulb installed on the right side. So it's this one and it is 5,000 uh, Kelvin. So it's basically a bright white bulb. So compare it to this one. This is the Cree um, 60 watt bright white bulb. Of course, it looks a lot brighter than the one that's a soft white. It is something you have to be aware of with the new bulbs. Here's that old 60 watt incandescent standard. Here's the LED Cree lights that we've used throughout the house and you can see little bit longer and we have run into a couple times in fixtures with the glass globes that this is too long. They're designed for this. But in the process of doing research for this review, I found out there is a new-ish type of bulb. It's called the Eco Incandescent and they do manufacture and sell those. So you hear incandescent say, oh yay, I'm going to keep using those. Well, it's uh, basically a variant of the halogen bulb. So it's, I think they said 28% more efficient. So that will buy it some time. I think they can sell it through the year 2020. But if you're a diehard incandescent fan, you just like the way the light comes from these bulbs and you don't care for these other types of bulbs, I'm gonna go over to Home Depot. They're the ones that now offers this eco incandescent and I will pick up a couple, bring them back here and do a review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fire? 
walks by, nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our video.